Hey everyone, uh, this is Kathy. Um This is a quick video showing some macros I've been doing for one of my players. Uh, this is for Blood Hunter. So my player Johan is a Blood Hunter, and obviously not familiar with that class. They have something called a where are we? Crimson Right. So what this allows them to do it allows them to injure themselves and they gain some bonus damage uh, for a limited period for a short rest. So before I had this set as being separate things, trying to kind of combine it all down and shrink it into a more usable list. So I've made a macro that applies a actor effect based off of which option you pick. So I'll show you that now. You see here, got no effects in place, but I'll move this sheet there. So select him, and then it is Crimson Right. See now, look. So the way it works first of all, it posts into chat the right details, and I put it so that you get a limited number of them, so I set it so that you tell you what the rights do, and he gets a pop-up menu. Pick which one he wants, so let's go for Right of the Flame. You see here, right of the flame has now been added. And it takes the water d6 because his hit points has been reduced by two. Now when they when they activate it, they take the damage die uh, based off of their class level um in Blood Hunter. And it it ramps up and they take that much damage when they activate it. Uh, so he's taking two points of damage, which is automatic off his hit points. Got a chat message to say that he's activated it, which one is activated, and that he takes damage. And this is in place. So if you look at this actor effect, this effect in itself does nothing. It has no purpose there. This comes moving there, so you can see these. This comes when you go damage. This is part of the other macro that I've made. So now well, that's good advantage, so he hits. And uh, we roll damage. I can see here, look, it's added fire damage. Um <clears throat> the way that works is there is a macro on his up, on his main crossbow. Let me go here, go item macro. Yeah, I will show these and put these in um, the description. What this macro does, it searches Johan to see if he has a effect that matches either one of these. So if there's a effect that matches Crimson Right Dawn or Crimson Right Flame, it then goes through a process. And this, in this case with Flame, if it's active, it does 1d6 fire damage. And then the other thing we can do um, to get rid of the effect, we just go short rest. And effect goes away. Uh, so I'll quickly show you the other one because it's got a bit more. So the right at the dawn is specific to a um, to the ghost hunter um, path. Then you see that he gets some radiant light. He gets resistance, and he does extra damage against undead. So if we go right at the dawn, you can see automatically he's now got this bright 20 foot radius around him and he's taking one point of damage and if we go to his character sheet you see that i got resistance necrotic damage and similar to the other one if we go back damage you see there's 1d6 radiant damage against death dummy and if we target the zombie it's, he does 2d6 radiant damage against un, against undead because it's a zombie so yeah it does um pick those up um which is quite happy i managed to get that help worked um this macro was done with a lot of help from the uh, foundry discord and they are pretty awesome people in there they helped me kind of figure out how to set the macro out and how to do like if statements and if else statements. I have no idea. I've never used code before. So 
But um, yeah, I've got these working, which is pretty happy. So it cuts down on a lot of need. And the interesting thing is, if it was going to short rest him again to get rid of the to feature, until your light goes away. But if I now buy a normal hand crossbow, the zombie, you'll see, doesn't trigger because he doesn't have either one of those effects on an active. So, Lichy, you don't need to worry too much about it. Um, switching between weapons. I've seen variations of this macro. This is what got me the idea of it. Uh, doing, what is it? It's Kadashi? Can't pronounce the username. But there is a macro out there that has like an elemental weapon. And it gives you a pop up to say, pick which weapon you want to apply this to. It applies a bunch of things. Now, my play doesn't really use much else. He does have um, like a rapier. Yeah, so he's got like a long sword rapier and stuff. So he's got a few weapons, but I don't really see the need to apply them most time because he doesn't use them. He pretty much exclusively uses a hand crossbow because uh, he's got the, um, the feet. So he ignores it. So this might not apply. So basically, this uh, macro may not apply to all people if they use multiple weapons. You can stick on you can you can change the macro and stick it on multiple. The other thing we'll need to be aware of is with um, the right it per weapon. So if you wanted to apply the right damage to a secondary weapon, you would then have to do it again, taking the damage. So it all all comes down to that. Um, but yeah, I was kind of happy to get that working, um, especially the secondary one that posts into chat to say, where is it? Yeah, the right damage here. Uh, that took me some working to figure that out, but I was pretty happy. So yeah, quick quick video to show you this. Um, I do have another one coming up uh, that is a wizard and the arcane ward, same character. But um, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching. If you like this, let me know. If there's anything you want me to see, uh, if there's anything you want to see, uh, looking over any macros that you might think that I'm capable of. I'm not that capable, so maybe not macros, but any reviews or posts on more automation or on modules, let me know. Um, I'll have a look and see what I can do and post something up. Right, well, thanks a lot for watching and bye!